So the live stream having issues, so we're just going to record and upload this. Uh, we're in Pinnacle Studio 20, so I'm going to run some tests here since we're in here, and then I'll switch over and show you guys what was supposed to be seen on the live stream. So in this version of Studio 20, if I want to do, if I do this, and then I do this, and I do this. Also, this screen just seems much snappier and faster. Then I do this, 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 and I'm just stretching it just in case I wanted to change the speed. I've messed around with this idea for a few other different clips and stuff. So it's good to let that finish out. I don't know why that's going so slow, but it's going. Seems like, man, my whole computer has tanked since Studio 22 installed, but maybe not. I don't know. And it could be just Windows, either way, so we got one. So now what we have is this. So yeah, there's that little thing because why not? And you can see, see you saw how the process went. Oh, and while we're here, I'm gonna demonstrate something and then I'll hop into the other version. So then let's say, say I went like this. We're gonna go like, this, go like this, go like this, this, this. We're gonna do something for this. Go like that, like that, and then also notice. So if I do multiple uh, things before that's done, that will appear on top of all of them because it's still rendering them. If we zoom in here, we can see that it is rendering. And I don't believe it takes longer if there are multiple instances because it's still working on uh, one instance. There we go. So now as we see, if I add more, it doesn't have to re-render anything. So now here's the thing that bugs me. Uh, selecting something is an action undoable in Pinnacle Studio. So if I go like this, now I'm going to undo, which in any normal program should get rid of one of the pastes I did of those. But nope, it does that. And that makes it especially buggy and tricky because... Let's say this is, for example, let's say I did this, and I did this, and we're going to select this one here, and we're going to say goodbye. We would just want this, but then, oops, actually what I want is this, and all of the changes that I've spent hours just making, example, with this at the end of it. So I'd go here, in a normal program, I'd copy this, and then I'd control Y or redo, but I can't. That shouldn't be a thing. And that's been a thing for too long, Coral. I still love Pinnacle Studio and I'm not giving up using it, but yes, that's a thing. So let's hop back into Studio 22, which feels much slower, seems much slower. I was just checking system requirements and I meet the system requirements. Uh, CPU. Just for anybody who doesn't believe me here. So I'm working with uh, ADC, HD, and Intel, stuff like that. Core i5 or i7, 1.06 gigahertz or higher recommended. Yes. You can do it, CPU-Z. I don't know, my computer kind of overall feels a little bit slow. So I'm actually thinking about saving up and getting an SSD to replace the HDD inside. Because that's one thing that will help. And it could very well be that my hardware is great. It's just bottlenecking the rest of it. Um, just going to open it up. So Core i5-3570K. Um, core speed. That's in millihertz. What's this recommend? Um, gigahertz. Pretty sure 1,000 millihertz is 1 gigahertz. And we're at 2,000. 
So, yeah, and that's the actual, like, the active core speed right now. I think it can go up to 3 gigahertz, I think. But, yeah, that should be, this should be plenty for our workloads inside our studio here. There we go, finally. It just had to wait for the old version of Studio to close. So, so far this is shaping up to be that I'm going to return this. And then if I get any, um, if they release a patch or a fix like they have usually done. Because I think there's already one patch out now, but I hope they release yet another patch. And if they do that, then I will purchase it again and see what has actually been fixed and works for me and what doesn't work. This is making me sad right now. It practically means that I've, I've been waiting at least a year. So probably two plus years. Not counting going on my mission towards the end of the year, if I was staying here and getting the next version as soon as it came out. Two plus years before I get a usable version. So we're going to attempt that same thing here. We're going to drag this down in here. And immediately it's red. That's not good. And Windows is being a bit slow right now, which I'm going to actually restart my computer after I'm done with this stuff because it's been a little bit since I've restarted it. It's usually in sleep mode so it can wake up and record a TV show. I'm going to look at our details here. There is legitimately no BG render. So. We'll just close that. Give it a minute to actually completely close down. Which, I'm going to actually do this. Because Studio does oftentimes in the background, once you've closed it, you know, start, you know, finish up a few other tasks and things and close itself down. Same thing. Yes, BG Render is actually there. And wow, look at how slow it's going. The other version of Studio went faster. Actually, no, actually it's going a little bit faster than it was earlier, so. Forward. Oops. So there's one, here's the big thing that I don't like. If I do this, and if I do that, and the same thing I did in the other one, we're going to copy this and paste it twice. This one here, we're going to head into our editor. And I won't bother to do the stretch thing this time, because really all I need is the reverse. But I, in, in the past one, I've just messed around for fun, for my own personal enjoyment with some clips in here and stuff. Um, I picked stretch, so that in case I ever need to down the line stretch it, I can. So we're going to do this here. Uh, see? the Where did my marker go? I know where it went. It went there. And it's not supposed to. It's supposed to go here. That's that's a problem. That's not supposed to happen that way. But it, it just did. And, you know, to make this go a little bit faster, we're going to get rid of this so that this has to render now. Because I don't need the rest of that for this test. So as you can see here, Studio's finally decided, and it's going so slow. So basically, at this point, we're looking at if anybody can help me, great. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to check, too. But if you can't help, if then I'm just going to return this and keep 20 and not upgrade. And this makes me so sad. I've been waiting for an upgrade for a while. Please, studio. I want you guys to work really hard and release a patch that... Speeds things up. Back to the nice speeds we had in Spinnacle Studio 20. Even faster, if possible. Because that's the main reason I upgraded, is because I wanted faster speeds. Because I thought it was going to be faster, because Spinnacle Studio 21 was faster. Let's do this. Copy this. And we do this. And it has to re-render. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, why? The other one didn't have to, but this one does. 
I don't do that every single time that I taste the sequins. Ah! <sighs> I'm not. Okay. So the thing I want to check. Control panel. Um. I'm going to do this to none. Because I found in the past that none helped. It made things go faster. So now watch this. Uh, it's still... And why is it that one when I paste it over here? Let's give a jump to the end of our project. I'm just waiting for that to finish. So when I paste the new one, we have a guarantee that the new one is actually loading. Actually, we've proven that it has to reload, and it still is. So if I paste another one, see? See that one there? It's starting from the beginning, going just as slow. So pretty much, unless there's any way to get around these and fix these slowness and bugs, I'm going to be returning this version of Studio. Uh, yes, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. not a happy ending here. Uh, if you guys are new around here, check out my other stuff on the channel. It's not stuff like this. Most of it's not. But just go check it out and see if you like the rest of my content. Consider subscribing. Leave a like down below if you're having issues, and I'll see you guys in whatever's next.